Wires are used to carry electrical currents. A wiring diagram gives us information about the position and arrangement of devices and terminals on the devices. In the schematic tab of ribbon, the tools to create wires are available and you can find it in Insert Wires Wire Numbers panel. And in the wire drop down, you must choose wire. Now take a look at command line. Here you will be requested to specify the start point. So you have to click on the point that you want to start the wire. After that, you will be requested to enter the end point. For once again, click on the point that you want to terminate the wire. If you want to continue drawing it, it is possible by clicking the another desired point. But if you want to terminate the wire up to here, you can just press escape or press the enter key twice. Now I want to insert another wire to show you an example. Again in the schematic tab, wire drop down, select wire. Here is specify the start point of the wire and just click on it. After that, enter the end point of it and click on where you want to terminate the wire. And this is step, if you intend to draw it up to here, just press escape or press the enter twice to draw it. Another method to insert wire is using command line. Instead of selecting wire tool, you can write AE wire command. As you know, for finding the exact command of wire, you can just keep pointer on wire and see the AE wire command. Now you need to write it. And then press enter. As you can see here is written specify wire start. Just click on where you want to start your wire and after doing that, you can see specify wire ends and the command line. As you can see here, we have words in blue color which determine certain tasks. V equals to a start vertical, which means that the wire can be drawn vertically. Another word is edge, which forces a horizontal direction for the wire segment. It means that when you write V in the command line and press enter, your wire is drawn vertically. Then you have to specify wire end and click on the point you want to terminate it. Finally, press escape to finish it. For once again, I'm going to show you another example. Write the wire command AE wire, click on where you want to specify wire start. Write edge and press enter, click on the point that you want to end the wire and press escape to finish it. Note that this is possible to just use wire tool and then use command line without writing a wire or wire tool command. For example, I just click on wire tool and then here in the command line, you can see the command specify wire start and again, Click on the point that the wire starts. Again, in the command line, you can see specify wire end and in the vertical or horizontal command. And finally, if you want to terminate wire, just click on the point to draw it. If you want to set wire types for new wires, it can be done by wire type and the command line. 
First of all, I choose a demo file in active drawings. Because in the active drawings, we have set of wires with a specific characteristic. At this moment, I'm going to select wire tool. In the command line, we have wire type with T in blue color. Now I want to write T and press enter and see the result. The set wire type dialog box will be displayed. The set wire di type dialog box displays the wire types that are used in the active drawing. This dialog box is made of various columns just as used, wire color, size, layer, layer name, wire numbering, user 1 and user 2. Next, I'm going to select the wire type from the layer name column. The OK button will be activated. Now I select OK button. As you can see in the command line, here is written specify wire start and also its end and terminate the wire at the point that you want. Here it can be seen that drone wire is similar to wire that I had selected in wire type. Now if you want to use another wire, repeat the procedure again. Click on wire tool, write it for wire type and select the desired wire.